<laughs> Rule number one to change the tire. Key, the trunk. Now, now it's most common if you have an SUV, it might be towards the back. But usually it's here. Step two. You have this little carpet here. Look at that. These are the tools you'll need to make your tire function. This is what you need, a nice crowbar. This is for the nuts. That's a donut. Not you needing, it's to change the tire. Come out here. This is a jack. Now the jack is just replaced under this under said flat tire. Now you might have to get a little dirty, but you place it in a little notch. Usually all cars have those. And you start turning said jack. Here we go. Now, if you're stuck in the freeway, you might be getting some dust from passing cars, but that's okay. You just stand as close as you can to your car. And then, you'll feel resistant. Now you know you're good to go. Now, you get your jack, turn, 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 and your car will start lifting off the ground. There you go. There you go. As you can see, my car is starting to lift. And I'm starting to get a rhythm now. And very soon, my tire is off the floor. Now said flat tire will need to be taken off. Step two, like I said, you'll get this jack back here. And before the flat is over, put it right there. See, it's gripping. That's what you need. Ready? And then you lift. And if you don't got no power, you kind of do a little squat, like you're pushing it out. And there you go. See that? Perfect. Loosen the nut. That's a perfect routine right there. Now, I'm going to head and perform this at a rate that I would usually repair a flat. Just to show you that in less than 15 minutes, I will have this tire off. Remove said nuts. I'm gonna lift a little bit more, just so I can get some clearance. And sometimes your donut is a little smaller Sometimes they might be a little bigger. But I'm gonna get some clearance so I can repair said tire. Takes a little effort. Takes a little sweat. But flat tires off the ground. I'm gonna loosen my nuts here. Loosen these nuts and we'll get the tire off. There's one. There's two. There's three. And sometimes you have four, sometimes you have six. But whatever the, how many you have, you just take it, take off the nuts, and you'll take off the flat. There you go. There is said flat tire. Out of the way. Donut will be like this. Gently move it closer in and make sure you have your holes all lined up, right? Once you're in, hold it. Put the nut with the 
beveled side in and you're good to go. And this is, I have changed this tire almost completely in less than 10 minutes. Now your hands will get a little greasy and a little dirty. Here you go. But once you do this, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment that you haven't felt before. A sense of independence and a sense of manhood. Because I was raised that any man past the age of 13 could change a tire. And if we didn't know, you would ask your grandpa, your dad, and sometimes even your mom, and they would show you how to change a flat tire. Now that these are nice and tight, as you can see, finger tight, finger tight, grab said crowbar, start squeezing, go the opposite, start squeezing, go opposite, start squeezing, go opposite, start squeezing. Flat tire has been replaced. Dolly is in, you lower your jack, and now you're ready to go. This is your tip from the Manly Man.